reaction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football and Big D as their guys will do battle with the Minnesota Vikings. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. carry now for Dalvin Cook and he is met quickly in the backfield down he goes folded like a lawn chair it'll go as a loss of three right away and it's second down to throw. Miner flush to his right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Many times when a play breaks down and the quarterback's moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking, just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached, think deep, take the big shot, hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. They're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And a terrific return as he takes this thing all the way down near the 20-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. They have confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the number. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try to run this one in, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking it about the one. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they, of course, coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak. They did get helped out 
by the open week last week and in talking with him all indications were Charles that that was a very helpful break yeah I know a lot of teams coaches they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it but occasionally you get that open week you step back evaluate what's been going wrong see what you can put in that can move you forward and maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A give to Cook out of the gun. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And the Cowboys here on third down, bringing in an extra defensive back. Operating from the gun, Miner. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Minor. He goes right back to Jefferson, and this one complete. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. On second down, Cook. Broken tackle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Five yards. Now it's third and five. All right, Brand. I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Off play action. Miner on the move to his left. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. It's up about how teams are so competitively matched and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal, that's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. So a good kick there. They put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time be able to knock the ball through the post and take the three. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not, Either the, not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Now they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that, and here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. And he finds a man on a crossing round. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Uh, they lulled them to sleep there, so to speak. That was all set up by the running game, wasn't it? Another example of what all offensive coordinators tell us. When the running game's operating, it really opens up the playbook. And that's when they hit them with the play action. And you can see the defenders rushing towards the line of scrimmage, then scrambling back, trying to cover. 
couldn't get there in time. Well scripted. They had the big running play. Now the big passing play. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Back to throw. Sands. He finds his man complete. It's Lamb. Touchdown! A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Carlson now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. Taking it about the one. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. the play fake. Minor sliding out of the pocket. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. Rolling to his left. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Football 101, you've got to let the guy catch the ball. You have to know the ball is there. You have to know it's arrived. Otherwise, you're going to get flagged every time. Now it's first and ten after a costly penalty there on fourth down. They'll run with Burgess. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, a 14-3 ball game. On second down, it's Burgess. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two, and now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. They'll try to run this one in. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3, I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. Second and nine, just a yard on that last run. We're off the bootleg, minor. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, Miner. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 11. Well, I tell you what, credit is due there on them preventing the touchdown after that interception. How about him chasing him down and not giving up the pick six? Because what happens a lot of the time is when you see the interception, you just kind of hang your head a little bit and you momentarily pause because you're frustrated. He shook that off and gave great chase and got it done. Still a great return and very good field position. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. I'll tell you, he got away with it there. Pops up okay, but got to be careful in the running game. You certainly do. And these young quarterbacks, these rookies, I remember talking to Carson Wentz his rookie year. And he said, yeah, but when I take off and go, I kind of have a running back mentality. And I'm like, yeah. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the round is on here in this first half. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Off play action. Minor. Throw left side complete. That's Cook. Call it a gain of a yard. And that is going to set up a third and one. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit.
Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. Looking to throw. Minor. That's complete to his running back, Jefferson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now that's the kind of big play you'd like to see. This first half, it hasn't gone their way, and they could use a shot in the arm, something to perk them up a bit. And they get one here in the passing game. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now. Hard to believe the half. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. 44 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. For a running back, that's kind of depressing, right? You get all that yardage, but still no first down. Well, it was a mile, maybe a mile and a half to the first down mark. Yeah. So he did all he could to get there. A little disappointing at the end, but boy, they gave it a great effort, didn't they? Gotta give him a little respect for that, don't you? And he really helped his yards per carry average, that's for sure. Yeah, quietly, he'll take that. From the gun on third down, Miner got an open man finding Jefferson. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Back to throw. Minor. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Mike Edwards picks it off. And the Cowboys are going to have it here as they'll start at their own seven. Three first half interceptions now. And Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be because essentially he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. <laughs> yeah, if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They run the counter. Burgess. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Off the play fake, Sands. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. They'll run on first down. It's Burgess, and he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. 
And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Micah Parsons. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Looking to throw. Sands. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this one dropped in the end zone. Uh, looked like a touchdown, but not to be. And now it's fourth down. Daniel Carlson on for the field goal. Remember, he was drafted and released by the Vikings. This will be kicked from the 42. It's a 52-yard attempt. So it's an empty trip downfield there as they get a missed field goal on fourth down. And I didn't see anything in the setup. It's a good snap, good hold. Yep. He just pushed it, and that one never wanted to come back. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder, is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Off play action. Miner. He'll buy some time right. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, maybe this offense has learned something from watching their counterparts work. I'm wondering if their coaching staff said, let's do what they've been doing the entire game because that's worked well. This offense, they have not looked particularly good all game long. But a nice throw there for a good game and a first down. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Looking to throw on second down. Miner, and he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with it. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. The loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. And Zerline pulled it. Zerline pulled it. It's no good. Wide left. It's been a nightmare season. You're well under 500. Your defense hasn't really kept in a lot of games. And now it's spilling over to the kicking game. That's three points you've got to be able to bank on. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You don't always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost, so. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, they won us a whole lot of games. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Back to throw. Sands. He'll take his shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great play there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Cowboys add on. He put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass. Of course, we knew that he had the strong arm. 
That part was easy. You can see that throughout his college career. But what you want to know about a rookie is, when the pressure's on, can you throw with touch? He just did right there. And boy, it was pretty. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere, and so far... Just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. That winds up pushing him back 11 yards on the sack. And that'll bring up third. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Looking to throw. Miner. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Cook. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. On first down, Burgess. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They'll try the left side. It's Burgess. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. On third down, Burgess. And he does not get to the first down marker as they stop him at the 19. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. Back to throw. Sands. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Vikings are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off around the 37. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. 
CD, this defense, I mean, <laughs> at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Oh, a great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Cowboys are closing in on a 6-2 and two start as they extend this fourth quarter advantage. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. It's taken in at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. It's now appearing that this losing streak is going to continue. You know, the coaching staff was confident that this was going to be the game to stem the tide, but that just has not been the case. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. Well, we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. To throw on second down, Miner. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up a third and one. One thing I think it's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. The Vikings on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys' offense. 
Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example, and now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. They'll run on first down. It's Burgess. Stiff on him. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 90 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Seven yards to pick up there. On second down now, it's Burgess. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Throw left side complete. That's Lamb. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worrying about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead will swell by one more. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. It is fielded right at the goal line. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That, and this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. down Burgess and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards but no more than that second down so Charles you talk about this head coach and his future with this franchise uh, look it's been a frustrating year and I think we saw some of that frustration boil over at his weekly press conference earlier in the week yeah he's trying to say all the right things isn't he but he's heard the rumors he knows what's going on out there and right now he is tired of having to answer the question, are you on the hot seat in every meeting with reporters? This week, he kind of said, I've had enough, and I don't blame him. He looks like a guy that may very well be out the door. On third down, it's Burgess. And he's got Rome. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 132 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. 
And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up.